procrastination and uh, self-doubt. I haven't even got time to procrastinate, even if I wanted to. <laughs> um, Self-doubt, yeah, does it's not there anymore. I mean, because I spent a whole 10 years just plodding along, um, it was just like when I sold a painting, it was just the odd one here or there, or if I'd kind of put some work up in a show, in a group show or something. Um, and then I would probably get one, if I was lucky, two commissions a year. And I spent a lot of my time um, like applying for things that like kind of, I knew that hundreds of other artists were applying for. So I don't do that anymore. As soon as I get a commission completed, I get a phone call for another one. So it's just, it, you know, it's been unbelievable. It's it's been happening so rapidly, and it's like, for example, my the the exhibition that I've gone at the got on at the moment. Um, so much has come from that. It's it first of all, it got extended an extra month, so it was only supposed to be up for a month in the first place. Um, I've sold, um, and it's still not finished. So I've sold four paintings from it, and I've got four commissions from it as well. And I've had like um three interviews done on me i've had photographers um taking portrait pictures of me all of those things came for free without me asking so it just feels as though in everything that i'm doing i'm just getting an abundance of like sales and people contacting me and people interested in what i'm doing how i feel about myself definitely um it like now when I think about what I want for myself, um, I believe that I'm going to get it. Um, and I never used to because if I tried to, um, you know, use like positive affirmations and things like that, there would be, just be so much self-doubt underneath what I was really trying to believe. Um, so it, it feels as if all of that has gone and now um, I just trust in, in what's in what's coming and um, believe that it's just going to keep getting better and better as I go through the programme and the more that I learn about how to sort of run the business. Um, through meditation practice, it's a daily practice and it's something that I have to keep working on and working on, but it becomes like, um, just uh, it just comes naturally for me to do that. I can't imagine having a day without that practice now, even if it's only a short, bit of time but it's because I know how how far it's I've got with it and how much it's helped me with the practice with um, my business a huge part of where I where I've got today is that I've I've really put myself out there and getting to know people and um, and I think that referrals kind of really work well when I'm just being myself and just being natural and um and because I, I love music and have a passion for music, um, it, you know, I'm, I'm in the scene anyway. So all my friends that I've got to know have been part of bands or whatever. And then, you know, not intentionally, but I was kind of getting more and more getting to know the people who were running the, the record labels and running the music nights and stuff like that. So um, it, all of the networking is a, a huge contribution. And um, the way that things are working for me is that, I'll do one commission for one person and then everybody sees that I've worked for that band or whatever. And then it, it's like word has got round and um, asking for referrals at the end of a commission. It just feels like such a natural thing to do. By the time it's complete, I'm friends with them anyway, you know, so it just it's so easy for me to ask them um, who if they know anybody. Um, that they could refer me uh, refer me to um and to be honest i couldn't i couldn't say that there'd be a single person that's come back to me you know and rung me up and said oh so and so's referred me to you it's more a case of like i think that in the act of me asking it just somehow it, it's put my intention out there and it's it's almost like it's asking universally because sooner or later it's guaranteed that someone is contacting me again so it just feels like it's it's just all in the flow. She's already referred me to, to her friends. You know, I know from 
from what she's so happy with what she's buying from me that she's made it really clear in her email because she's expressed how much she loves the paintings. And then she told me that she's shown all her friends, you know, the little business part because she, she bought the piece of work that's um, used in my business part. And she was t she told me that she was telling them all about the meaning of the work. Um, so I know that before I even ask her for a referral, I know she's already referred me, you know, and it's just, I just think it's it's being yourself. I very, 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 very rarely sold through galleries. I've had in the past like one or two pieces of work up in group shows and um, I might have sold, sold one or two little pieces and then, you know, the galleries mm -hmm. had 50% of the work. But, um, yeah, I've not got to meet or know anything about the buyer. I've not started to um, work on my idea for my four-part four code yet. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, so, this is no, this is real. I really want to say there's you can get value out of the program without checking every single box. Oh, so much, so much. If you were to see my life <laughs> pre um, making art, making money, you would see why I wasn't making why I was making art and not making money because I had. <laughs> absolutely no goals and absolutely no plan uh, i literally was just plodding along so um so yeah there's been so many guidelines up until course course four there's been so many guidelines that have helped me and course four is just amazing as well because it's the first time in my art business career that i've even thought about writing a business plan and it's like it's just it feels like it's just giving me so much structure to be able to pull everything together and in in a in a good order um and have some prop up some realistic goals you know do you know what it's like i don't apart from your course i, ca I can't give, i can't think of any other advice that i could give um to another artist other than to join your course, only because um, of the sort of real deep self-inquiry work I went through, you know, at the beginning of your course. So because I had, it's like, like you've just said as well, like I've been, you know, for years I've been doing yoga and meditation and, and trying out lots of different things, but um, I still never, I'd never got to the core of what my art was about. I didn't even begin to try and understand what it was about. So how on earth was I going to be able to explain that to someone else? It was it was meaningless to me and it was meaningless to everybody else. And um, and I didn't realise the importance of like getting that right. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's painful, isn't Sorry. it, to think about. <laughs> it's really painful thinking back to, like, how, how or, or even seeing it, you know, in other people now as well, you know, not, not having any direction and, like, yeah, I don't know. I just, it, I just, I wasted a lot of time. You know, if I if I could have found a program like this 10 years ago, I'd be flying by now. Someone really randomly sent me a link to your course. I opened it and I watched, I think, two short videos with you talking about the course. And I just enrolled and I didn't have any money at the time. You know, it was really not like me to sort of quite spontaneously go for something that costs that amount of money because I was living in the poor artist mode. And um, and I just enrolled and I just knew, I just trusted you. I, I knew that you were genuine. I, I, I liked what the course seemed about. And it just, you know, for me, it was about, it is the best thing I've ever done for my business, for myself. Nice. <laughs> we all know that you've put so much thought into, into structuring it. And it's just like, it, it really, it just works, you know, if you put the work in, just do it. They've got, they've got nothing, nothing to lose. To lose.
everything to gain, they get to know themselves, you know, um, it, there's no pressure on the course, it's, you know, I've had such a busy year and I've still managed to just keep, you know, just doing it in my own time, um, putting it down when I've not had, had, you know, it been managed to get through the course, I'd have little breaks from it. Um, so there's no pressure, you meet loads of people on the way, make, make loads of um, like-minded uh, friends, people who understand or are on the same page as you. Um, it's just a fantastic support network. 